Hello friends, this is Durga from IIT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about uh, uh, developing the pig script and integrating it with Woozy workflows. So, so far we have developed a pig script to get count by order status. And then we have actually seen how to come up with job dot properties. And this is the most important video or heart of the, uh, of the topic, which is to integrate pig with Woozy. Which is actually to create workflow.xml, which will be used as workflow um, by Woozy to execute. Okay, so here I am sharing my screen, and I will be showing from the context of CCP certification. I will try to explain how to actually navigate through the documentation to come up with the script. That way, it will help you as at the time of certification if they don't give the examples. Still, you will be able to refer the documentation, which will be provided as part of the uh, exam time. And then you will be able to clear the certification. Uh, you will be able to answer the question related to Uzi by referring um, uh, to the documentation effectively. Here, we are talking about CCP data engineer. So just search for it in Google. Click on this one. And when it comes to Uzi, they are asking us to create Woozy workflows, both linear and branching, um, with all the actions such as hive, pig, etc. And by following these steps, you will be able to create action in any um, tool, whether it is hive or pig or custom action, etc. Okay, so the documentation for Woozy is uh, at the bottom, and this is the documentation which will be provided to you. And you can directly go to Quick Start in this, and here. We are actually trying to understand workflow functional specification to come up with the workflow.xml. Workflow.xml is the file which will have the uh, uh, the workflow in the form of XML. Okay, and here we are talking about pig action. So if you see here, they are actually uh, giving uh, three dots, which is nothing but a placeholder for some of the missing scripts. To understand what should be placed in uh, three dots, you can actually scroll to the beginning. Uh, no, not to, in the beginning. I think if you scroll to the end, OK, you can actually search for start. So this is the one which which it is missing for pig. It, it already gone to action. I will come back to action. So there are a few things which you need to keep in mind. First, you have to define this one. Here, you have to give the XML namespace and the name for the workflow. So we will start with this. OK. And I am going here, and I am starting workflow.xml. OK. And I paste. After that, we have to give the start to so I'll be copying only till here because the name will be different for pig. You can give any name, which will be creating an action letter. So in this case, I will be giving it as pig workflow. And this is a single uh, tag. There is no sub tag for start. So you can just hit enter. And now you have to define the action with name pig, w, uh, pig hyphen wf. So what start will do is, once it starts the um, once it looks into this workflow.xml after giving the namespace uh, it, the first tag should be start tag and start tag will tell which tag it should go and here it should go to mr hyphen node and mr hyphen node is this action so it will go to this action and whatever is defined here it will look into this okay and then at, at towards the end if it is successful you have to define what should be done if it is okay and what should be done if it is uh, uh, error? OK, so we have to copy these two tags. These are mandatory tags. And that has to be part of the action. We will come back to that later. But here they are saying, if it is fine, if it is executed successfully, it should go to end. And you can see the code for end here. So there is nothing. It's an empty tag. So it will not do anything if it is successful. So we need to have this one as part of the workflow. OK? And here we have to close. Sorry. Workflow app. 
okay and then if if it is failure in that case you have to take certain action and that one you can copy from here so if it is fail it will go to the actions which are named with fail which is kill here so in kill it will just throw the error message so these things are mandatory okay and if you go to actually i have to give a space before start they are this is the proper the table of how to pick action okay and based upon the version you have to take care so to get the version of uzi i think you can just run uzi hyphen version no it's not to uh, uzi hyphen version i think i have to give the entire uh, uh, uzi host to get the version okay uzi help version so this will give the syntax i guess okay it's only uzi version yeah so it is actually 4.2.0.2.3.4 anyway uh, it is not this one which will actually define but if you go to uh, workflow.xml depending upon whatever version you have to use uh, you, you are specifying for the namespace you should follow um, that one while defining the workflows so in this case if you want to define uh, dot one you have to follow this syntax if you want to follow dot two you have to use this syntax okay and here um, if you want to pass custom xml you can use job hyphen xml in this case we will bypass so if you scroll down here, this one will not show on, um, with job hyphen XML. It is a little bit different. And also it is actually example of the code. Only thing is they, do, they did not specify what should be uh, start tag and what needs to be done OK or on error. They are actually telling on OK it should go to my other job. On error it has to go to error cleanup and it, it did not show what should be done as part of that. So there are some placeholders here, which you can ignore. And then you have to copy this one from the entire action tag from the documentation. Okay, so this is kind of example, which is missing the start action and okay, uh, uh, end and uh, uh, fail actions. Other than that, everything is there. Okay, so you can copy this entire pig action and then go here you have to paste it after the start tag. That is very important. If you place it somewhere else, then you might run into some issues. Here, you have to say the action name is pig hyphen ws. So the start has to go to this action. So whatever name you have given here, you should use the same name here. So I am replacing whatever was there with pig hyphen ws. And then job tracker and name node, we have already defined the parameters. So we will delete these things and then use the parameters from the job dot properties. So go to uh, OZ, pick demo, add job dot properties. And here, this is the parameter for name node. And we have to give it using dollar curly braces or mustache braces and name node. Similarly, sorry, this is name node. Okay, dollar name node. And here we have to give resource manager. That is the name which we have given as part of the job dot properties. So resource manager. Okay, and the output path is output dir which is again defined as parameter as part of the uh, job dot properties okay so what it is doing is when it runs this action first it will run the prepare as part of the prepare as for to to use pig scripts um, and write the data into a hdfs the hdfs directory should not exist so those kind of actions can be 
performed as part of the prepare step. So in this case, in prepare, we are defining delete path to uh, we are defining delete to delete a particular directory or path which is passed as part of the path attribute of delete tag. Okay, so this will delete the output directory if we run multiple times. And then you can override the parameters by saying configuration and define all the properties. So here I am enabling compression on map output. I'm just showcasing how we can actually pass the parameters by taking the sample code, um, which we have copied from the Woody documentation itself. So here it, uh, they are actually using two parameters. They are actually overriding two parameters as part of this configuration tag. And you can add as many parameters as you want, depending upon the use case. And then script. We have to get the script name. So this is not the script name. So we can delete it here and get the script name. Script name is order count based errors dot pig. OK. And then we want to pass the uh, input directory and output directory as parameters to pick script. OK. So here, uh, we we don't want to hard code the input directory and output directory. So after defining the workflow.xml, we have to make the modifications in pick script also to parameterize the some of the uh, some of the uh, attributes in the script, which is input directory, output directory, and whatever you want, you can parameterize. Okay, so here input directory is uh, this one so it will be passed as uh, parameter to pig script so we have to make the modification to pig script also we will take care of that after de defining the workflow.xml same is the case with the output directory and then on ok we want to go to end because we have already created the end tag here and we want to go to end which will not do anything and uh, on error we want to go to Fail. Okay, so fail is the uh, tag. Uh, fail is the name of the action which is kill here. So if it fails, it will just um, uh, pass the error message, and it will actually kill the uh, uh, map reduce job which is actually trying to process the data. Okay, now. So and here, I want to give the input directory. And the parameter name is input, not input dir. And that those names are defined as part of the workflow.xml. So dollar input. I'm not sure whether we can use mustache basis or not here. Uh, if you want, you can try and uh, uh, you can validate. But this will work without mustache braces. So input and output are the parameters in the workflow.xml, which we can validate here. So these are the argument names, which will be passed on to the uh, pick script. You cannot directly use the parameters which are being uh, used as part of the job.properties file. OK, so these are the arguments. You have to use the argument tags as part of the action, uh, which will be passed as parameters to the script. Now the workflow is defined. The pig script is developed, and uh, we, we made the necessary changes, and also job.property is created. So using this information, we have to copy into HDFS, and we have to run it as Woozy job. And that one I will take care as part of the next video. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the Like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. Um, if you want to learn more on um, any of the IT topics going forward, please keep on uh, visiting my website called www.itversity.com. So we, this is this will be a one-stop shop for uh, to learn all the technologies, and also you can go to stay connected and uh, subscribe to my channel, follow on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, wherever you are active. And also, if you want to discuss further certifications or uh, if you want to discuss further on certifications or big data, please join my li uh, LinkedIn groups called ITVersity hyphen certifications or ITVersity hyphen big data. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, you can click on this channel and you can subscribe 
to it by clicking on this uh, URL. And uh, finally, if you uh, if you want to contribute so that I can come up with more and more content like this, you can click on Donate with PayPal. And I will try to uh, use my time in coming up more and more content like this over time. OK? That being said, let me show my face. OK, it's already my face. I don't know where the sharing is stopped. I hope you have seen my screen uh, while explaining about my uh, website. So let me show uh, once again so that you don't miss, you didn't miss that. OK, now if you go to my Chrome, so this is uh, uh, the location where you can connect with me. And make sure you, you subscribe to my channel so that you can update uh, frequent updates on the content which I'm uploading on my channel. And to donate, you can donate using Donate with PayPal. That being said, have a nice one. Bye.